A court date for a teacher and principal accused of assaulting a special needs student all caught on video. The boy's mother filed assault charges against the principal and special ed teacher at Rosemont Elementary. Neither was there for the hearing, but the attorney for the principal spoke to investigative reporter Chris Horn, who broke this story and has an update for us. Chris. Yeah, Anita, the child's mother says she's proud of her son for coming forward, but she'll need to wait until late January to get a decision on the charges she has filed. The attorney for the principal, meanwhile, is confident that she will be vindicated. The mother of Eric Chapman got the video from Rosemont's surveillance cameras. The school system says Eric was an ongoing risk for himself and his classmates, that Eric would run from the building, and he was disciplined eight times last year for defiance, insubordination, physical abuse, and harassment. The attorney for Principal Carrie Ann Hall told me Wednesday morning he expects the charges to be dismissed, and his client's history shows she has been nothing but caring and professional. The video shows Hall and special ed teacher Allison Williams pulling, dragging, and carrying the first grader when he was enrolled last year at Rosemont. The Commonwealth's attorney declined to pursue charges on the mother's behalf, so she is moving forward on this case by herself. Latasha Holloway is proud of her son for letting her know about what was going on at school. And he is a hero for coming forward and, and telling that. Um, and now other children. Uh, will have the opportunity to feel more comfortable with coming forward and expressing those types of things that are happening to them in school. And we also reached out to the special ed teacher's attorney, and so far she has not returned our call. In late January, a Virginia Beach judge is expected to rule on this case. And remember, we have much more detail on Wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.